I think our best expression of our charism, which comes from the Greek word charis, meaning gift, is gift of the Holy Spirit, is in our, what we call our consensus statement, which is at the beginning of our Constitution. In 1969, we have this consensus statement, and I fell in love with it, because a consensus statement says, stimulated by the Holy Spirit of love, the sister of St. Joseph moves us to our profound love of God and love of neighbor without distinction, from whom she does not separate herself, and whom in the service of the neighbor she works to promote unity with neighbor and neighbor with God. I thought, to take for your mission that you're going to reconcile neighbor with neighbor and neighbor with God as a life mission. Then I said, we're going to be here a long time. We didn't talk a lot about the charism in our early days. At least I don't remember that. We never used the word charism in those days. We never even knew what that meant. I didn't even know the word. We didn't even know anything about our founding, our founders, our founding documents. We didn't know about our charism. After Vatican II, and there was this call to please explore your foundations, explore your roots, explore what your founder really meant, that's when it started to come out again. I remember going to a talk in Spokane, and this sister said, if you don't know your charism, you're not going to make it in the future. I went up to her and said, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, being a sister means you pray, you're in ministry, you live in community. What are you talking about? She goes, oh, the spirit of your community. What our sisters have done through the centuries is, and I love this, go out to the four corners of the city, look at what is not being done, and if no one else is doing it, take it up and do it. I think we are freer in our congregation to meet the needs of people because we weren't told just you just teach or you just do health care or you just do this. Our founders said go out to the city and be in the streets with the people and that's really what our current pope is doing. He's telling the church to go out in the street. When we talk about the, sister, the charism of the Sisters of St. Joseph, we still as a community, as a religious community, go out into the city, look at the needs, and see what we can do to address them. In the uh, former days, pre-Vatican II, I think discernment was done by our superiors who saw the needs that bishops, archbishops, pastors, and so on were asking for, and they would be looking for who would best fit that. That was where the discernment happened. After Vatican II, we were called upon to do more discerning, prayerful discerning ourselves. That was a, a turning point for me. It started really, it, it helped me to get in touch with myself, get in touch with what I wanted to do, get in touch with the world around me in a deeper level. What attracted me though about all of the things that the sisters did was their concern for people who needed them, concern for people in trouble, concern for people who were ill or had problems and needed help. And I fell in love with that. The ideas that stand out for me have to do with uh, the emphasis on social justice. I'm delighted that that's important to us. One of the things that I'm proud of is, is our response uh, to matters of social justice, in particular how we responded to the farm workers back in the 70s. We are doing what we say we're doing. We are saying that we are trying to transform the world. So when we saw an unmet need, we just went out and did something. You know, we didn't wait around. But as we age, we support others who are doing the work that we did, are doing a work with the marginalized, like trafficking or the immigrant population, homelessness. We don't have to do it. We need to partner and cooperate and encourage uh, what's already there. <laughs> I mean, it just seems so much simpler. <laughs>
our charism isn't just belonging to the Sisters of St. Joseph. Other people share that charism. The charism is kind of a universal call for everybody, not just us. It's for all Christians, for all people, really. Our charism, by definition, is so simple in meaning. Nudging us forward in, in a unifying love. It can be easily carried out, taking care of or serving the dear neighbor without distinction. Nobody should be left out. Everybody matters. We are there for everyone. Anything that separates us, we strive to reconcile. To help people wherever they are with whatever it is that they need. And that's that can-do aspect of the Sisters of St. Joseph. As long as there's one CSJ alive who can pass it on, it'll, it'll go on.